this is Kenny here at the General Paintball Museum and today I'm here to talk about the Tipman Pro-Am series. Uh, the Tipman Pro-Am was built in 92, I believe April is when it was released. Um, it retailed for around just under $400 uh, back in the day. Um, here shown we have two different examples of it. Um, here's an earlier model, it's serial number 93. And the one above it is serial number mid nine thousands. Um, other than some little differences, really the only ones are is the engraved name uh, versus a plaque with raised letters. Uh, you have the sight rail; it's a little smaller on this earlier one. Uh, and the later one, it is bigger, which is more typical of the ones you'll find. Um, this is also Tipman's first marker they designed with CAD software. Um, this has a solid aluminum front foregrip with an integrated feed neck and a solid aluminum hand grip. Um, makes the gun kind of heavy. Uh, the lower CO2 tank, where you would screw the CO2 tank in, um, helps balance the marker when you have a hopper of paint on it. The marker is semi-auto, and if you press this button underneath of the foregrip, it will look like this, and it will slide forward. This also stops the flow of paintballs into the chamber of the gun, um, allowing you to cut off paint to firing the marker if you needed to clean it. Also, if it's cocked back and the feed neck is in the forward position, you can run a squeegee, cable squeegee, down the barrel without having to remove the barrel. This barrel um, is the first threaded barrel that Tipman released. Um, it uses the ProLite threads, which are now today called the A5 X7 thread. Um, but this is the first threaded barrel for Tipman. Uh, this marker replaces the 68 Special. Um, and it was a very reliable marker. Um, other things we have for this marker are the Tipman patch that you could get with it. Um, other things that came with it were the hard plastic cases. Um, we have two different cases here. This is an earlier edition. Um, earlier editions had carved foam in the cases, place for the marker, the CO2 tank, oil, and your hopper. If you notice the cutout at the end of the barrel area for where the marker ray lays, uh, there is a, a cutout for the plastic front clip that snapped on the end of the barrel. Uh, later editions of the case were hard plastic internals. Still had a place for your Marker, air tank, oil, barrel, plug, and hopper. Uh, they were nice to keep the marker in a safe place from getting scratched up. Um, the Pro-Ams were not as common as the later Pro-Lights um, because they were a little more expensive and kind of heavy. But that is the Pro-Am in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. And thanks for watching and like us on Facebook. Thank you.